what's up? This is Atomic Swift, and today, uh, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be working more in VMware Workstation. Today, I'm going to show you how to install uh, MS DOS and then Windows 98. So, what you're going to do is you're going to, well, here, we'll just delete this real quick. We'll start from scratch. Okay. So, you're going to click File, New Virtual Machine, and you want to go to Pirate Bay and download Windows 98 Second Edition and. Um, MS-DOS 6.22 uh, okay so we're just gonna go with typical and then we're gonna click all install the operating system later then you're gonna select Windows 98 then you're gonna go to wherever your you store your virtual machines which I don't store them there I store them there okay and then we're gonna hit next continue and then with this we're gonna click store virtual disk as single file and then click finish now what you're gonna do just one sec here. okay now you're gonna you're gonna um, click right here where it says CD DVD it's gonna open it and you're going to set it to your ISO. You're going to set it to uh, MS DOS 6.22. Click OK. Click OK. No, I got a phone call, but we'll ignore it. Okay. And then you're going to go to Power. And then you're going to go to Power on to Firmware. That's going to allow you to boot into the uh, CD ROM drive change the boot, hit enter until the CD drive is on the top, F10 to exit, <coughs> and you know you're doing it right because see it says starting MS-DOS, there's the CD support, hit enter, set up DOS now, press enter, configure allocated space, yep, and you're using a CD, it thinks you're using a floppy disk, so you're going to hit F3 to exit, F3, then you're going to go type F disk oops what I was looking at okay oh shit come on F disk and then you're gonna go to option two to set active partition because initializing the MS DOS installation created a primary DOS partition which you can see right there and you're gonna it's gonna ask you enter the number of partition you want to make active hit one and then you're gonna hit escape and then you're gonna hit escape again then you're gonna hit enter and it's gonna boot the CD again and then see it's gonna tell you invalid media media type reading drive see that's normal hit a and then you're gonna hit enter and you hit F3 then you hit F3 and then you're gonna type format C drive colon all data on the re removable disk drive C will be lost, yes. And then you can enter whatever you want right there. Doesn't really matter. So you have MS DOS. All right. Uh, so now what you're going to do, since your MS DOS is your bootable disk, you're going to hit type setup. Then you can hit enter, enter, enter. And then it tells you remove all floppy disks. So you're going to go to right click, go to settings. Now you want to go back to your DVD drive. And then you want to go to Windows, Windows. One. Oh, God damn it, was it? Windows 98 SE, there you go. Then you're going to click on that. Oh, it's a bootable, so I didn't even have to install DOS probably, but that's alright. So now we'll just click OK. It's going to tell you remove disk from all floppy, hit enter. And then you're going to restart your computer with MS DOS 6.22. Press enter. See, now it's going to give you the option to boot from the CD-ROM, which is Microsoft Windows 98. Start Windows 98 uh, setup from CD-ROM. <coughs> yeah, 
Alright, see now it's going to boot into the install. You're going to set up Windows Now, press Enter. Okay, so we're going to continue set up, replace current operating system. That'll get rid of MS-DOS. Alright, so now you're going to hit Enter, or click Continue, I mean. Hit Next. Next. Yep. Hmm, it's weird it didn't ask for a CD key. Alright. So you can let it... Just run through the setup. Boy, this takes me back. I remember installing Windows 98. I upgraded from 95 to 98. <coughs> <coughs> All right, come on. Yeah, see that installs very quickly. Back in the day, when I was using a 486 PC or even a uh, Pentium PC, I'll tell you, it did not take that quick. All righty. All right, and then you're gonna click. Um, so it's gonna be, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. We'll just click. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click restart now, and you're gonna select boot from hard disk. Ah, oh, that's right. Just type a name. It doesn't matter what you type. I accept. There it is. See now, so I got this key off the internet. Um, so the key is K4HVD uh, Q9Q9T J9. Let's see, six CR X9 C9G. Six eight and RQ two D three and then hit enter. Oh god damn it. Uh, K four H B D Q nine T It's fucking annoying. Oh, this is annoying. Should have tried this, but you know what? In PR DDH. Um, eight three. See, Should have. K4. This is the OEM, so we'll see if this one works. 684. GF6Y7. 7, 7, 3, there we go. And you can go ahead and use that key. I found it online. I'm sure Microsoft doesn't give a shit. Alright, so now it's going to install the plug and play hardware and everything. Like I said, this goes a lot quicker than it did on computers back in the day when 98 came out, I'll tell you that. Oh, boy. Like I said, if you're looking for this bootable ISO, MS-DOS, Windows 3.11, Windows 95, I would go to uh, Pirate Bay, that's where I found these. Again, I'm not encouraging piracy, but Microsoft doesn't sell these anymore. I'm sure they don't care. Windows 95 actually has an issue with VMware Workstation if you're using a uh, modern PC because your CPU is too fast. So I was reading online, you have to download a tool to underclock your CPU. I didn't want to deal with that. So I decided to make a video about Windows 98 instead because Windows 98, the second edition, was better than 95 anyway. I just remember the first time going from 95 to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Windows 3.11 to 95. I mean, completely different. Completely different. 
Okay, so we're going to hit restart now. Boot from the hard disk, enter. Alright, that's gonna go through all this shit. Time zone, blah blah blah. Control panel. I'm interested to see because, like I said, I've never installed this on a virtual machine before. I'm just going from what I remember when I was younger. Installing Windows 98 on PCs. It'd be interesting to see if it'll let you install VMware tools, considering. Uh, if you watch my previous video, Windows 3.11 did not let you install VMware uh, tools so to improve resolution and make it full screen and everything. So we're going to see here. And here we are almost done. Real simple. Like I said, if you download off Pirate Bay, get the bootable one, which boots directly from the CD. So you don't even have to install MS-DOS. I didn't even realize that. So now we're going to hit enter. <coughs> so I installed MS-DOS for no reason because this version of Windows must install DOS. Okay. So now we hit enter. So now it's finding an unknown device. Load the monitor. Let's see what else it's going to find here. Alrighty. Okay, we're getting there. There it is. Why well, it takes me back. So when I finish installing, click back in here. I don't know. Could you even connect to the internet? I don't. Probably not. Let's see. I'll try. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to where it says VM. You want to go to install VMware tools. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So now what you want to do is right click, go to settings. You want to eject that disk. Yes. Okay, now you're going to go to install VMware tools. Yep, see it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. See, now it's treating it like I just installed a, um, a VMware disk, you know, CD ROM. Install typical install. Yeah, see, it's going to install a mouse driver, VGA driver, all that stuff. Make it look a little better, I'm sure. Disconnect anyway, override the lock. And then click cancel. Oh, that's so annoying. Click finish. Restart the machine. Boot into uh, Windows 98. Alrighty. Hit enter, and there you go. Windows 98. Um, let's see. Let's see what resolution this isn't. This isn't 1024. No. Oh, you can take it all. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's. That's too big. No. Um. Do 1920. Um, we'll try that. No, shit. All right, so we'll try. <coughs> hmm. Oh 
boy. Um, hmm. I guess. This is making it too damn big. See, then you got to scroll down. So no. It's weird. I wonder what. That's annoying. All right, well, I used to play it at 1020 by 10 or by 768, I believe, or 800 by 600 something. Yeah, I guess that might be the best you can be able to do right there. So, see if it does have internet access. I don't think so. Let's see. Windows. Ah, uh -huh, no. Yeah. Not recognizing the. Uh, Let's see. It's probably not recognized yet. Hmm. Yeah, it's not recognizing the uh, the audio device. You'd think it could just install a dummy one, but yeah, I mean, you could go in and. You can probably find drivers online. But anyway, <coughs> video is going to run a little long here, so. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, anyway. So that's uh, step by step how you install Windows 98. Well, MS DOS, then Windows 98. But like I said, if you download the bootable Windows 98. You could just install it uh, by making the disk bootable, bootable by going to the power options of your VMware and then going to power op, power into firmware. That'll put you right into uh, the BIOS where you can select the CD-ROM as the boot device. So anyway, that is Windows 98, and I do want to see something here. Yeah, see, restart in MS DOS mode. Yeah, so it does have MS DOS. All right, and then we can just power out from there. So that's my video, how to install uh, Windows 98 Second Edition on, well, MS-DOS 6.22 if you need it, if you don't download the bootable uh, CD-ROM like, like I did and didn't even realize, and uh, then install Windows 98 Second Edition. Like I said, if, if you get the bootable uh, ISO, you could skip installing MS-DOS because Windows 98 will do that automatically for, for you. So... <coughs> that's my video thanks for all the likes comments subs uh, i appreciate everything thanks for watching my video well all of my videos and as always bye for now